What's going on YouTube? Come back at you with another video. We got some interesting 6 9 news right now. So I looked on the inmate locator. It was saying 6 9 is released. I started to do some investigation and it looks like 6 9 was transferred to a new facility. TMZ has a story out just breaking about this. What they're saying is this, this and this is all speculation. This is coming from TMZ. What they're saying is this facility where they moved him is regularly used to house witnesses who cooperate with the feds, right? And what they're also saying is that 6 9 was transferred for apparent security reasons and that their sources are saying that 6 9 specifically asked to be in a unit away from the Crips and the Bloods. So, I mean, this is crazy situation. I've been saying this all along and I'm sticking with this shit. The only chance 6 9 has it ever, you know, getting any kind of love in this situation as far as from the federal prosecutors is if he flips and actually, um, you know, divulges everything he knows and starts working somehow with in some capacity with the feds. There's no other way around it. At the end of the day, this investigation was going on before 6 9 was even on the scene. He clearly was not the head um you know the head of this shit he was not the target of this investigation he actually because he wasn't moving right and he was being kind of stupid about the whole shit he involved himself in some shit he didn't even realize how deep it really was and um He's in a bad situation right now, but this is what happens when the feds got you. When the feds come for you, they know they got you. Right now, they have 6 9 exactly where they want him. Um, basically, he's at their mercy, and his only option right now is to tell. And I'm not condoning snitching in any kind of way. I'm just telling you the reality of the situation right now is his option is either to give up some info, get other people indicted type shit, more than likely, or... He's going to he's going to face these charges as is and he's going to get slammed and he's going to end up doing potentially decades in prison. So, um, again, this is speculation. This is just my opinion based on everything. But this is the way the feds operate. The feds love to get you because once they got you, they already have everything to make the case stick. So why not try to get you to flip and, and you know, implicate other people, bring other people down? And that's that's the problem. I mean, it's not a good look at all to be snitching or be in one of the positions. But that's why if you're really not about that life, like six, nine clearly wasn't. You don't get yourself involved in shit like this. This is a crazy story, though. Um, you know, we'll see what happens with this. I'm sure that what they're saying is true, that he was moved to a different prison. He was definitely uh, uh, marked as released from the federal inmate locator so it's interesting i'm gonna keep you updated with anything else i hear let me know what you guys think in the comments i appreciate you peace